People are laughing. People are laughing because my wife doesn't think I'm funny. You know what I'm going to start doing? I'm going to be funny now. No, because it's really not going to be funny because you're going to be trying too hard. I'm going to be funny. Wait wait till you, you see my next funny? intro. That's, that's something you're born with. Wait till you see what my, ne- my next like intro. Nah, on. bro. Wait till y'all see my next intro. I'm done. Everybody has a funny side. Hey, hey, hey. Noah, come here. I'm funny. Take her upstairs. Jeezy, you think I'm funny sometimes? Wow, Perez is ruining my life. You never heard me say anything funny? I just never heard you joke. So all day today, we've been having fun all day. I never made you laugh. Don't make me go back to the footage. Wow, he has to think really hard. <laughs> <laughs> because maybe it wasn't you that sparked the laugh. It was like... No, just... It was like what was going on that was funny. Okay. <laughs> but I inspired it. Some of those times I inspired it. I had the camera. You know what? You're, you're, you're. Hello. <laughs> you're just solidifying what I'm Why you gotta breathe hard like that? Because, okay, it's not like you're trying to be funny. Today, it's like. Back pain can't win. Now it's, it's so hard to explain. Uh, Damn. There's different types of funny. Though. Yo, I need I need people. Like you're a joker. Right? I need people like in the comment you section. Joke a lot and you're funny that way. Have you ever seen me do something funny? What's that? Press. Tell me if you've seen me do something funny. What's up, bro? So they said yes all the time, bro. You're so funny. Yeah, somebody just said that. And they're like, yeah, we follow you. Yeah, so funny. Very funny. You guys were awesome at Premiere. So funny. Uh, hey, Justine, wish we could have met at the Orlando Premiere. Chris is so funny. That it face. Does not say that. that face. <laughs> <laughs> I got him to laugh. I got him to laugh. There it is. There it is. Don't try me. <laughs> Don't try me. There it is. <laughs>what's up everybody how's everybody doing um game started with a uh what seems like a simple haircut but for me it was it was hard when i first started so um we're parting the hair two different sides and we're gonna we're gonna start with two different panels and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna connect what i want to connect from the top onto the sides This is kind of that, that thing that you guys, if, you, if you're if you on Instagram like that, you'll see a lot of UK barbers like like Menspire, like Sid Sultan, like Josh O.P., even the Videl Sassoon's and stuff. You'll see them using this technique, and it's something that really intrigued me, and I've been I've been on a mission to learn. I've been I've been on a real mission to learn scissor cutting, man. Like, it's, it's consumed me. Like, I don't want to be... A guy who can only cut with clippers, who can only fade, you know, who doesn't really understand the science behind scissor cutting. I don't want to be that guy. So, you know, I've I've dedicated this year pretty much on just trying to outlearn everybody, man. I've just been a student, like... And and this class you you see you'll see like a lot of hand movements and and pauses in this video. It's simple, guys. I'm just this is a class. Um, this was at Urban Barber College in um, San Jose, California. 
and I'm just I'm just teaching them techniques. So this this was a, a cut that I did part of the tour. Obviously, much more. I mean, we do like an hour and a, and a half of exp explaining each cut that I do. So. You're pretty much repeating the same steps on this side right here. Honestly, man, me learning scissor work, you know, I have to attribute a lot to just will willing to go back to the basics. Like I, before I start taking continued education classes on scissor work, just so you guys can kind of, because I'm, I'm, I'm noticing the comment sections, people have been kind of, you know, they've been commenting and noticing that I've I've improved my scissor scissor work. Man, I went all the way back to the Milady book, see what I can find there. I went, I went, and I, I bought videos and dvds and in the sal salon industry they're not cheap like i bought like i bought a videl Sassoon kit it was like a 300 hundred dollar video kit and um then i started taking continued education classes took a whole bunch of them men's buyers from immense buyers from the andrew does hairs from you know hattori hanzo's to joshua P's to anything that i could take that had to do with scissor work and honestly it took a lot of repetition just like anything else but i do think education sped up the process you know i feel like in a year i learned what, what a lot of people learn in a, a few years you know what i mean so between the education my mannequins and just willingness to go back and and, and learn everything from scratch um that helped that helped me out a lot and it also helped me understand how important the blow dryer is so This is important here, making sure the top is dry. I when I was when I was first learning blow dryer work, man, like I swear I slept on. I really slept on the getting the the roots of the hair dry and the middle of the top of the head dry. All right, so now we can get to something that's more familiar for you guys, and we're doing the back tapering. You can see I went higher in the middle because the sides of his hair had less density. Therefore, it just wouldn't look like an even taper if I kept it the same level, each guideline the same level straight across. Because the hair, the, it's darker in the middle. It's more dense in the middle of his, uh, of his nape area. So we did the blade open, now we're doing the one open. And we'll, we'll, begin to blend that out and you can follow along the color chart see exactly what i'm doing guys 
Also, take a look at the lever. I close the lever now. And at this point, I have the half guard on. And I'm starting to bring together what I did with the one guard and the blade open. And you can see the it kind of just brought everything together. Now we'll move on to the number two guard coming off of the occipital bone, which is like that curvature that comes off of the neck, kind of like that, that how your scalp kind of protrudes a little bit. Just staying right underneath that, following that up right underneath the number two with the one and a half guard, and that's going to bring the one guard into the two guard. That's going to blend those two together. And if there's still some bulk above where I left off with the two or in the occipital bone area, then I'm going to use my number three and some scissor over comb to clean all that up. Man, I can't, I can't stress enough a year ago how if somebody showed me a picture of this haircut right here it would literally intimidate me um but i want you guys to pay attention to the silhouette of the haircut that we've created um from the back of the head to being you know the back being squared off to you know the front being a little bit longer than everything like it just i respect silhouette to a whole nother level now that i've educated myself And guys, let me give you a review. My clients, they see it. Like, they see it. They've noticed it. When other people sit in my chair, they see it. They notice it. It has made me confident in charging more for my haircuts. When I lack confidence on my value, on how much I, sh I, I, I should charge for a haircut, investing in myself took that, took that problem right away. I'm confident in my pricing now. I missed the footage for this side of the taper, but I'll show you um, the other side of the taper. I'll walk you through that. It's the same steps, which is going to do it in a more compact area. And a trick when you're doing the, the temple taper, when you're doing the taper on the temple area, um, you can pull the scalp to give you more room. So it's not such a compact area. Man, but that that taper and that and that lineup just set it off. I feel like, I mean, comment below what you think about the taper with the, you know, with the flow, with the the scissor work. Like, I don't know, man. Like the hard lines with the soft look. When you fuse it together, I just I love the I love the look. What y'all think? So again, same thing with the taper. Blade open, blend it out. One open blend it out number two and the one and a half will blend those two together the one and the two and then you use your number three if you need to and some scissor over comb or some clipper over comb to bring it all together it literally takes me like a minute to do the taper
and here what I'm doing is it, it looked a little fluffy like a little poofy on this side you know every side grows a little different so you got to kind of customize the haircut um, but just going with the grain with um, straight hair like this it almost works like a razor you're just kind of softening softening it up without taking out too much bulk you're smooth smoothening it out without taking too much bulk or darkness if you think about it it works the same way with with waves with tight curly hair going with the grain it allows you to leave more length while smoothening out the hair so same idea different hair texture like I always told you guys, man, I use the same system for every texture of hair. And guys, I didn't have a lot of footage, footage of the finished work. All that's left now is to line up this side, give them some razor work. I didn't want to throw out all this footage just because I didn't have perfect shots of the finished touch I'll do of the finished look I will do better I still think there was value in this tutorial so um, I hope you guys enjoyed it there will be a photo at the end so you can kind of see the finished look but man I definitely wanted to add this because I just don't feel like there are enough tutorials on scissor work on YouTube so it was important for me to show this to you guys and i'll explain it a little bit better on the online academy if you're interested in getting to the next level but here it is guys comment below subscribe if you got anything from this please smash the like button i appreciate you guys as always